Watching every image that flashes before me, I can't believe the level of spirituality. Oh, I had enough of the geeks who have claimed to have found the way. I hope that guy watching will just take one sec and consider what I have come to say. But without this broad movement behind us, we can do the best lobbying in the world, and it doesn't matter. It's the leadership, and that's you, the leadership of this movement that's going to make a big difference. Our board president, Herb Silverman, had a vision that there would be unity in this movement. And the Secular Coalition for America is the product of that vision. But now we need to go to that next level. And the Secular Decade Plan will get us to that next level if we have the leaders. That's you. And that's what this is truly about, is the fantastic group of people thinking and leading this entire weekend. Although the number of Americans unaffiliated with any church and holding a larger secular view, a largely secular view of public affairs continues to grow steadily, we don't exert anything like the influence that even small religious minorities do in the public square. But even secular people who are maybe agnostic or even atheists could see it as possibly treasonous in the 50s and 60s to talk about atheism in public. So we could be reaching a lot of people who may never have heard from us before from the non-theistic uh, lobby. So impressions are important and we want to be able to introduce ourselves and, uh, and be able to say, hey, we're here. When I say think for yourself, little man, don't let them tell you that they have the plan Cause everyone's lost chin deep in the sand And if they tell you they ain't, well they're just lying Think for yourself, little girl Don't let them tell you how to run your world Cause everyone's the same, choking back that nervous hurl And if they tell you they ain't, well they're just lying, yeah summit is about the future. We in this room embody the optimism and the good cheer and the adult approach to issues. And we should stand up and be proud of our heritage. We are the ones changing America. Be proud of what we're doing. I've been listening. I hope I've been learning. And I've been listening to you. I've been listening to this movement. But I've also been listening to the mood of this nation as a whole. And from that listening, I submit that our central public policy strategy is to tell stories of how our fellow human beings, our fellow citizens, real people, are harmed by the privileging of religion in law. I thought the summit was great, and I really enjoyed the interactive nature of the summit that allowed members to also participate and share their ideas, as well as learn new things from speakers and other people. I realized that I would like to do more lobbying, and it kind of uh, gave me encouragement to want to learn more about the issues um, specifically so I can go to my congressman at home and I can talk to them about issues uh, in an intelligent way, in a way that will make them actually take action. I feel like we're finally going to take over the world. We've gotten together some of the best and brightest minds in the movement to come together with strategy ideas, thinking outside the box. Our 10 member organizations now cooperate on the 95% we have in common rather than a quibble about the 5% that might set us apart. Uh, we must continue to raise awareness of secularism and create a positive image for non-theists. We are really undergoing a, a wave of change right now. And this wave of opportunity for us has lasted longer than I expected. So I think we need to catch the wave, we need to ride the wave. Well, that we're looking for recognition and respect, right? We want to be recognized, we don't want to be marginalized. We want uh, the media, and we want politicians, and we want the public to see that secular Americans are part of the American tapestry. We're part of the fabric.